And in the previous video, we kind of hit the topic of using LinkedIn for job search. So what other tips you have in terms of using LinkedIn to the fullest potential? We know that a lot of times people are using content creation, they're using the networking or the connection. So what other things they can do these days? Yeah, LinkedIn is an amazing platform. I'm, I'm on LinkedIn all day, every day. I love LinkedIn because there's so many opportunities there. You can do so much with it. Yeah. You can connect with people. I've made so many friends on there. You know, it gets a bad rap sometimes because there's a lot of spammers, people mm -hmm. who connect with you and try to sell to you right away. Yes. You know, right away. Don't let that deter you yeah. from using LinkedIn because like I said, I've made a lot of friends. I learn a lot uh, from content creators that I follow. So things that you can do to really leverage LinkedIn, especially if you're looking for a job. Uh, number one, it is a social media platform, which means it's about so being social. It's about connecting with people. So start running searches um, for companies that you might want to work for, jobs that you might want to find, and start reaching out to people, send connection requests, and make sure that you personalize your connection yes. requests and yes. tell them Very why. Important you're reaching out, right? Why do you want to connect with them and follow up and don't be salesy, start a conversation, ask them how they're doing, tell them what you're up to, why you're reaching out uh, and that you'd love to talk with them and then get them on a phone call, get them on Zoom. Like we've talked about yeah. previously when we talked about networking. Um, also with LinkedIn, you can share content, right? Yeah. You can post what you're working on. You can post the latest article that you read or the book that you read. Uh, you can share this interview that you're watching right now, right? You can share this on LinkedIn and say, I just watched this great interview between Meher and Andy. And I learned this, this, you know, one, two, three from it, right? And it shows yes. that you are interested in learning and the things that you're working on. But even if you don't feel comfortable sharing content on LinkedIn, and I do think, you know, you should every now and then, you can also get tons of value from interacting with other people's content, you know, find those influential people that you like and you can learn from and follow them, uh, engage with their content, like and comment on their post, um, follow yeah. people who are doing jobs that things, you know, that you might want to do and sure. like and comment on theirs and start yeah. start conversations. Yeah. Um, and then LinkedIn now has people that write newsletters. Uh, you know, there's uh, all kinds of video content and, and other types of content out there that you can learn from. And uh, there's just so much opportunity yeah. there uh, but don't forget at its core, it's social. It's about building connections and meeting mm -hmm. people. And don't think it has to be entirely professional or that, uh, you know, it's about being salesy or finding jobs. I, yeah. Like I said, I've made a lot of friends on there. I found clients on there. We met on LinkedIn. Everything. Everybody's on LinkedIn, yeah. right? Especially yeah. in the professional world. Um, so don't let it intimidate you. Just yeah. get out there and start having conversations. Yeah. And I promise you, you'll benefit. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And sometimes just start small. Uh, one of mm -hmm. my other person that I interviewed said that maybe every day make a commitment to yourself that you're going to make 10 likes and five comments. And when you start becoming more comfortable, you can make those comments longer. And as you said, when you are there, you're sending connection, uh, just personalize the message. Hey, I saw you. I'd like to know more about you. Or I saw that you're working here. Can I have more information? Because if you just send connect, 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 the other person doesn't know you. And as if you are knocking a door and you're asking the person, can I come in, have a water? But I don't know you. So sometimes they will not accept you. But if you send a personalized message, that will open the, uh, open the door more to accept you. And uh, do you have any other things to add, Andy? No, I think that's it. I mean, there's, there's so much opportunity. And like you said, start small, start having conversations, liking and sending a few messages and, um, you know, be intentional, set a goal, right? That I will connect with five new people a week. I will start two new conversations a week. I will yeah. share one piece of content each week. Uh, when you set that goal and you hold yourself accountable, then you're more likely to get those things done. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips regarding LinkedIn, please leave comments below and tune in next time for another question with Andy.